Your level of education is predetermined by your parents' income level. If you really think we live in a land of equal opportunity then you don't understand how our society doesn't educate poor children. Equal opportunity only exists in equal education. Why are oligarchs so afraid of an educated populace? The same reason why literacy was treated as a threat to the kingdoms of old. Serfs being able to read meant that dangerous ideas could spread. Damn oligarchs are never going away. Eventually something will give though. The, the academic gap between rich and poor students now exceeds the gap between white and black. Students in 1954. The year in which the Supreme Court decided Brown v. Board of Education. Economic inequality today produces greater educational inequality than American apartheid once did. Daniel Markovitz. The meritocracy trap. Being poor sets you way back. Being poor with any kind of disability or chronic illness? Good luck probably isn't going to work out for you. I'd say your parents' education and experience also heavily affect the child's education level. My father made decent money. Just enough that financial aid didn't kick in. But neither parent had ever been to college. They barely got through high school. Neither parent had any idea how to help with things like applying for scholarships. How to find payment options or even getting school applications in the days before everything was online. I was in a tiny rural school where the guidance counselor's main focus was keeping the football team's grades up. At 17 I was on my own to figure things out, it didn't go well. Such a waste of talent. How many geniuses who would have made the world a better place spent their whole lives slaving for? A pittance never getting the opportunity to use their minds for science or whatever. How many people who might have been a musical genius on the level of Mozart or whoever but who never got to discover it because they were never even in the same room as a musical instrument. Those things are expensive. Strange coincidence how all the geniuses who make a difference in science, engineering or the arts always seem to be born into rich privileged families? Not only is this system cruel for the sake of cruelty, it is a huge waste of resources that could make life better for everyone, i.e. talent. For me this is true. Grandpa inherited a boatload of cash from an aunt unexpectedly. Then I was able to go to college. Thanks Papa. Love you kiss you. Capitalism sucks though Papa. BC they can't take advantage of smart people as easily. I don't think it's predetermined, but it is a very big determinant. Let's see educated people can tell they are being exploited. Do you know the single thread connecting all these assholes who believe the people are lazy and don't want to work ideas? People who have high school diplomas but not the skills required to have earned it. An educated populace is a threat to tyranny. I can literally learn anything I want from the internet. I've learned more researching my own electronics than I did in electrical engineering in college. Not applying it is not the same as not having access to it. These statistics are accurate. However, they can only predict percentages. Not actual experiences of individual people. Those with rich parents are more likely, as a percentage, to reach a higher level of education. But it is not a guarantee. Conversely, those with lower earning parents and scarcer family resources are less likely to reach high levels of education. It's not pure coincidence. But it does not predict any individual's future. Statistics like this absolutely should affect policy consideration but they are only percentages. Even if your education level is higher you'll probably make less and have more debt than your peers. Someone in my state did a study that showed a near-perfect correlation between how many students in 
a school qualified for the federal free lunch program and how many failed standardized tests. The various tests, which together take up an incredible six weeks out of every school year, cost billions of dollars to run and turned out to be nothing more than a very inefficient way of finding out whose parents are poor and preventing them from graduating and moving on to college or trade schools and the address you live at a couple rented a flat from my ex-father-in-law just so they could get their son into the local grammar school they didn't even live in the flat they paid nine months rent in advance this isn't true in canada where i live there are financing programs specifically for the lowest income people so we get educated but don't have the connections to get the good job we trained for so we end up low income with tens of thousands of dollars in debt woman shrugging i wouldn't say income level but living in poverty can make it harder for people to succeed it's hard to focus when you're broke and can't get all the help you need I would blame it more on parenting style than income level to be honest your education is determined partially by how your parents raise you. There always comes a point you can try to change things. There's financial aid for a lot of situations. At a certain age it becomes your own choices somewhat. Of course it helps to have parents with money to buy you the best of everything. But you can further your education in a lot of ways on your own also. It helps, but isn't the only factor. I have a master's degree. My brother barely finished high school, is an addict and homeless for the last many years. Same parenting, same opportunities. This is true and it's sad. The only offsetting part is you may get a scholarship. There is another factor to this that the four-year university degree is in a state of oversupply, reducing the value of that degree, despite the cost of the degree increasing drastically, compared to previous decades. In the 70s to O, oh, widespread push for college was seen as a way to close the racial gap by making education more available. While this worked to a degree, pun intended, the late stage result was a glut of four-year degrees despite the labor force not being willing or able to support a majority of those degrees. We send kids to college on unsecured debt with virtually no plan for a meaningful career afterwards. Thus the horror stories of four-year degree holders taking minimum wage retail jobs or people putting off starting their lives for years due to student loan debt. Meanwhile, the trades are seeing a massive shift as many of the older guys have retired and have not been replaced by newer skilled workers. These are jobs which cannot be outsourced or automated, which do offer career money, union pension, the good life. But many high school students are not exposed to due to an overemphasis on college prep classes and a lack of shop class. Granted, Skilled work like this does require some form of higher education such as a trade program or apprenticeship, but education level is not as much a singular indicator of success nowadays as perhaps it once was. I served in the military to get around my poor family. Free education. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.